So today, I will be showing you my current beauty favorites. This is strictly just gonna be makeup that I'm gonna be talking about. So if you wanna see what my favorites are, then just keep on. Okay, so the first favorite would be this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I've been using this a lot so far since I've gotten it. And they come in a ton of shades. And I had to order mine online because they didn't have it in store. But other than that, the foundation is really pretty. It's full coverage. So if you got some spots you want to cover, you can cover it with this. And this runs for about $10. Yeah, it's like $10. But if you can find it cheaper, let me know down in the comments below because I can't be paying $5 shipping just for one item. So let me know. But yeah, this is great for the summertime. It keeps me matte. And I just love it. So the next foundation. Hold on. Let me zoom in. I feel so close. The next foundation is my I mean, Super Stay Better Skin. This is my go-to foundation. I mean, I use this all the time. Every time I go out, this is what I'm wearing. It looks the most natural on my skin. Here, just watch. Blends out really good, and my favorite way to blend this out is with a brush, because I get the most coverage. It is good with a beauty blender, but I just like that foundation, personally, with a brush. Maybelline has like some of the best foundations in the drugstore, I think. They have a ton of shades for you to choose from, so that's really good. And, I don't know, this is my baby. I love it. So, the next product I shall do is some lashes. I'm not really good at lashes. It takes me about like 15 minutes to put them on. But these lashes, I'm wearing them right now. These are my Dodo lashes in D105. They're very fluffy and like out there so i'm still getting used to them like trying but they're really good and i really like them speaking of lashes my all-time favorite mascara bam the maybelline last sensational the original i like the black one but only for the top because it transfers in the bottom but um this is the wand i really like it because it really gets up in there and it makes my lashes look really full and long and black i love it this, I think it's like $10, $8, 8 to $10 or something like that. But I have like three of them I've gone through already. That's how much I use it. I really love it. The best mascara in the world to me. So the next product, I don't know, I'm just going to grab a lot of a lot, is my Wet n Wild Contouring Kit. This baby is only $4.99. And I get a lot of use. See, I hit pan on the dark shade. Soon I think I'm going to hit it on this because I've been using this a lot. I'm surprised I didn't hit pan on both sides. But yeah, it's really pigmented. I don't even know if you're going to see this. Oh, yeah. And it blends out really, really well. And I didn't think, I really can barely can find contour kits that are like go with my skin tone. But this hit it off the bat, man. Look at that. This banana shade highlights really well. This contour shade I use today. I use it every day. It's like the bottom. So yeah, $4.99 by Wet n Wild. Can't go wrong. And look how big it is. I mean, like, everybody needs this in their life. Everybody needs it in their life. I found mine at, uh, where did I find you? I found this at, um, where did I find this? I think it was Dwayne Reed or Friday. Oh, CBS. Thank you, Kayla. I got this bad boy at CBS. And the next two from Wet n Wild stuff. I'm always dropping stuff in my videos. What the hell? The next two favorite items are my Wet n Wild color icon blushes. I really love these blushes like so much. This one is in um, Mellow Wine. I use this one the most. I have it on today. This is a swatch, if you can see. They're really pigmented. I think these are like the best blushes I own. I don't have any high-end blushes. I don't think I'm ever, well, I'm not gonna say ever. I might get some. I will get some, because I need to try them, but this is like the best for me. Like, it blends out nice. You know, it's just the bomb. The next one I have is Pearlescent Pink. I've been getting into this shade a little bit more. 
but we have eight, watch out. We have Mellow Wine and Pearlescent Pink. So, really good. And they're like $3, I believe. And look how much you see, I mean, well, I already wiped it off, but they're really pigmented for like $3, so. If you haven't tried these out, pick them up. I have one more I haven't used yet, but these two are like my go-to blushes, so. Yeah, wet and wild. So, the next product is for my brows. And this is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I love this. I've been, before I've been using this, look how pretty, look how bitty bitty. Before I was using this, I was using the Maybelline um, Clear Brow Gel, something like that. But ever since I've been using this, I've noticed a difference. Before, when I would use the Clear Brow Gel, my eyebrows would be, um, like really really dark and with this it gives it just like a tint and they're not as dark and I love this I picked up a backup at Ulta and I have mine in the shade as espresso 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 it says espresso espresso but yeah I really love this and you need to try it out I really love is you could have guessed it I just used this for another tutorial but this is my mini MUA makeup geek palette it took me a long time to get my hands on this, but I love it. Like, I'm really happy I bought this palette. Like, my favorite color is Isonomia. Look at that. This, I'm going to use this again in a tutorial because this color is just like the bomb. Yeah. And they're really pigmented. I mean, it's makeup geek, so what would you expect, right? So, yeah, here are just. Ugh. I'm like throwing stuff. Here are some of my favorite shades from the palette. So we got, oh shoot, what is this? This is Luna. Luna, Mars, and Isonomia. My three favorite shades in the palette. So yeah, really pretty. I've used these two already in the tutorial. If you haven't seen that tutorial, I will link it down below. And I've used Luna before when I went out. And I might use that in a tutorial soon. I might do Luna and Mars and bam half and half type of stuff going on yeah always dropping stuff so yeah i believe this is still in stock so try to check out makeup geek and see if you can still get this if you don't have it i really suggest that you get it manny you did a really good job with this palette i love it so the next palette palettes palettes you should already know what they are they have been like talked okay. about so much talked about sorry my sisters are passing me stuff they have talked about so much and they're always sold out i gotta mention them because i have used them but the twins so we got the morphe 35o all matte and 35o all shimmer when i found out they were coming out with these i was like yes i need them i love the original but just to have all three different types i mean it's like the best let me swatch them. I did do a tutorial using these. Let me swatch some matte shades. I love orange on my skin. These are some matte shades and then some shimmers. I did use this to the gold one because I used the gold one. The gold one and this copper color. Look at that. The copper and the gold really pigmented i love morphe palettes i think they're my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time like i say i have a lot of favorites but like of all time they have to be morphe i have like seven morphe eyeshadow palettes i'm getting crazy i can't wait to get more today i used the um 35f palette because i forgot i had it and i was like oh i need to do a look and yeah if you want to see oops <laughs> hold on if you want to see a look, a tutorial on this makeup look, just let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I will do that. And I'll just show you what the freaking palette looks like. This is the 35F. I just used it for the first time today and I really love it. I really love it because the colors are pretty. So yeah, if you want to see a tutorial on this look using this palette, let me know. And moving on. Lip products. Lip, lip, lip products. Uh. This is going to be so basic, but I don't even care. My Kylie lip kits. I freaking... 
guys, you don't even understand how much I love these lip kits. I finally went and got more because remember I had Dulce K for like the longest. I went and got more. I'm like obsessed. She, I can't wait for the new colors. I did get, I didn't get the black one, the Dead of Night, but I did get the High Majesty, which I did do. The, I did use it in a tutorial. I'll link that down below. But my favorite two that I've been reaching for the most have been Exposed and True Brown K. I've been using True Brown K liner the most, but but um yeah. So this is Exposed. I thought it was gonna be too light, but when I mix it with a darker liner, it comes out pretty. But it's really a pretty color. It's like the a perfect nude. So let me just swatch these for you. So we got True Brown K and Exposed lip kits she's been doing a good job i mean they last long they look nice they dry really matte um i have jeffree star on today and i don't know i just i really like them i'm really impressed although there's been like a lot going on with different things like some people's dofa applicators are like messed up blah 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 i haven't had any bad experiences yet and i'm very happy because they're not cheap <laughs> But I really love them. And please, I know, I'm probably right now everybody has them. But if you don't and you're like, uh, I don't want to spend this much money, blah, blah, blah. Get them because they're worth it. So we got it. Kylie Lip Kits. I have more, but these are like my go-to right now. The next that I have been loving, there are some brushes. So, the first one. I'm like too late jumping on the bandwagon, but it is the Real Techniques blush brush. I love this brush so much. I go between this and another brush to apply my blush. This one is like so fluffy and just like boom, boom, boom. And you just get it right in there. And it really distributes out the blush really nice. So yeah, the Real Techniques blush brush. The next brush, it's my baby. My Morphe for 439 brush this is the perfect foundation brush in the world the sigma f80 was like god but this is like zeus he's a well god is whatever but you know what i mean this is like the all-time go-to i used it today to blend out my foundation and i love it i will not stop using this beauty blender is awesome but if you want like bomb ass full coverage you go for this brush really love it the next brush is the Morphe E4, and this is from the newest Elite Collection. You, if you didn't know, they had like 40% off the entire Elite Collection is because they were redoing the whole thing. So I did get, I do have a Morphe subscription, and if you aren't a part of it, I advise you to subscribe. I'll leave the link down below for that. And um, yeah, I love this for blush. Like a lot of people say off oh, a contour, but I feel like this is perfect for me for blush because I already have my perfect contour brush i might use this for contour one day but um this is like the best blush brush jacqueline hill got me on the e4 for blush because she always uses this so yeah the morphe e4 the last brush is the e3 and i use this to set my under eye concealer so when i apply my concealer and i go to set it with my um wet and wild this combo is perfect so i tap it back and just lightly dust that right up in there. You've seen it in my tutorials. Really love this just for that, just to set my concealer. The brush is so soft. It's dirty now to just use it, but um, so soft. I love its dome shape, so it gets like right in that eye area. And yeah, I really love it. So these brushes, once again, we got the Morphe E3, the E4, the Real Techniques Blush Brush, and the M439. Next up to Glow Glow, they all have been my favorite, is the Anastasia Glue Kits. I'm like blinding you guys, sorry. Oh, how can we do this? I have all three, and I just got the last one, Sunday, which is really awesome. I got Gleam for my birthday, and then I purchased that glow on my own. So, these are like, oh my god, they're everything, like... I mean everything they are everything here we have that glow and gleam like you got the 
peachy bubbly you got your bronzy shades so these are awesome and then and um sun dipped i think this was made for my kind of people if you know what i mean tanny dark people <laughs> this one i mean it's like awesome like look at these shades they're like so gorgeous and i used tur how do you I tur tourmaline whatever this one i used this in my last tutorial and i thought it was gonna not gonna show but when i put it it was like whoa i was like glowing from freaking saturn or something like this was like oh i'm so in love with these colors i'll swatch them right now she really did a good job with these glow kits they run for about 40 dollars well they are 40 dollars here are some swatches from sun dipped they are 40 dollars but they're really worth it because if you think about it each highlighter is 10 dollars each and then you can refill them which is awesome so it's like they're really worth the money then some swatches from that glow i only really used i really go towards these three i'll like mix them all together and then apply them i'll swatch them too but this is really i like this for the spring because they're more peachy shades so can you see that one yeah this is that glow swatches let me do hard candy again because i feel like it's like dying so here's that i mean gleam swatches <coughs> and last but not least that glow if you want to swatch my other hand so that glow um i really like it too i think these are more the summery these are like yeah summery shades if you can see those right there really pretty i love highlighting now before my favorite thing about my makeup was doing my foundation but now it's like highlighting is the best they're like so many kits and it's like you can never have too much highlight so yeah if you don't have any of them i advise you pick them up glow kits are like okay this video is probably gonna be really long but my last favorite would have to be Jacqueline. my baby my becca and jacqueline hill face palette oh my god when i saw that she was coming out with this you know i had to be on it because i love her so much i couldn't wait during her party she had like a pre-launch for like only a limited amount of people and i was able to get it and I was so excited. Look what I did today. I dug my nail in Prosecco Pop, which is what I'm wearing today. I like on fleek. But yeah, this palette, I mean, was really worth the money. I'm like, should I buy another one just in case? I think I might buy another one, even though I'm probably not gonna run out, but I might buy another one. But look how pretty it is. The packaging is like the bomb. It's like screams Jacqueline. And we got some blushes inside. We got two highlights. We got champagne pop, prosecco pop. We got blushes. We got rose spritz, amaretto, and pample mousse. I'll swatch them. I know everybody is like in love with palette. It's like the perfect everyday go-to palette that you can have in your collection. The blushes are amazing. I really don't use amaretto as much because I don't even have another finger to swatch that. I don't use it as much because it doesn't really show up. But I like use it like to go over my bronzer a little bit. And then top like a topper type thing. So yeah. Here are the swatches. You can't even see amaretto because it's like matching my skin. But these are the swatches from the Jaclyn palette. Love this palette. I'm so happy I was able to get my hands on it. It's like the best thing ever. So I think that is all the products that i have been loving so far it doesn't seem like a lot but to me it was a lot because i have like everything laid out and i'm like Ugh. but yeah um i think that's it oh no i have one more one more see i knew it i have been loving this vanity planet spin for perfect brush like 
I've never really used brushes to like cleanse out my face, but I'm so happy that I got this. This bad boy is worth it. I got it for $30. It comes with a cleansing brush head, which I have to clean, exfoliating, a body brush, a pumice brush like for your feet, and then the, the handheld. I mean, it, when it, I don't thought it only came with like one different like brush head, but when I noticed that it came with all of this, I was like, wow, this is really good and it really works good. My favorite um, cleanser to use it with has to be the Purity Wash and the Bior Deep Charcoal Wash. Those two with this is like the best. So if you haven't checked that out, I will leave a link down below and like I'll find a coupon code for you guys to use because I use like Beauty Birds coupon. But I know various um, beauty bloggers you guys to use because I use like Beauty Birds coupon. But I know various um, beauty bloggers have a coupon code so you can get it for like $30. But yeah that's it i like talk so much i have to like hurry up and get ready for work but yeah those are all of my current favorites if you have any current favorites i would love to see what they are so if you want to leave a comment down below and don't forget if you want to see a tutorial on this look go ahead and give this video a thumbs up like it obviously give it a thumbs up like it leave a comment and yeah that was it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time guys bye Shadow turns to sunrise.